Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be unboxing all of these boxes that I'm hiding behind. Pretty exciting stuff because these are all brand new Lego sets that have yet to hit the shelves and they're expected to arrive in stores this fall here in 2022. So it's pretty exciting. You can see we've got one, two, three, four boxes and the fourth one is awfully large. So I think there's multiple sets in here. I think all of the stuff in here can be revealed. I can't quite remember, but let's start on the right side here and work our way toward the big box. So this one here arrived not too long ago. I could have revealed it a little bit sooner, but I decided not to. This is the new sitcom set. Yeah, probably one of the most popular sitcoms ever, right? Yeah, it is The Office. So there we go. We got the new Office set. Pretty cool, eh? I'm pretty excited about that. It comes with a lot of minifigures. Uh, personally, I've seen The Office. I've seen, I think, like the first three and a half seasons. But I still know a bunch of the Easter eggs that are included in this set. So let's have a closer detailed look at the packaging on this bad boy. This idea set's pretty wild, man. It comes with like 15 minifigures. Look at all the minifigures on the top of the box there. Michael Scott, Dwight, yes. Stanley and all the all the mini pigs, right? You got <laughs> you got a whole bunch of them there and a lot of Easter eggs in here, right? Like look at Kevin with his chili, right? <laughs> that Easter egg is funny. And also the stapler and the jello, the copier machine, just like the there's like a Dundee trophy. There's all sorts of stuff in here that's really neat and represents a bunch of different scenes uh, from the TV show. However, I'm not really like, I, I like these things, but like, I don't know how I feel about how they display. They're not really my style of set. All of the sitcom sets that I've got like this here, I've actually put into the sit complex that was done by Lego Artisan. I mean, it's pretty cool though. Like it's modules that pop out. There's so many Easter eggs, you know, from the show. So if you're a huge fan of The Office, obviously this is gonna touch on a lot of the things that you love and enjoy and remember about the show. So I think that's pretty cool. But I, you know, I don't know if I would get this one because I haven't seen the full Office series, but the minifigures are sort of off the charts and it sort of inspires me to want to watch this show from start to finish for the first time ever. I've only seen, like I said, the first few seasons. So that's that there. Let's dive into the next box here. Pretty excited about this. I think it's a completely different theme. Believe it or not, this is not an Office set. No. There is only one office set. But yeah, this is some new stuff here. I just got to make sure that this stuff's actually on the LEGO website and can be revealed. Sometimes it's sent to me so far in advance. Like for example, this one here. I cannot show you this one, unfortunately. That's a pretty cool set, not bad. Pretty hyped on that one. It is uh, a superhero set. This one, I believe I can show you. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. This one is King Namor's or Namor's throne room from the Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I won't lie to you guys, I wasn't gonna buy this one. But hey, the minifigures are pretty cool. Let's have a closer look at that one there. So yeah, this set is coming out. It's uh, for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is gonna be the new movie coming out, right? It looks pretty cool. I mean, it's got some interesting minifigures and stuff down here. It's not really a style of set that I would get. I think that's all I'm gonna leave it at. This logo is cool, but I think that's what I'm gonna say about this set here. I don't know, I don't really see the hype about it. I mean, this is a cool vehicle and stuff like that. There's some interesting windscreens and it looks like some interesting builds and some interesting minifigs and stuff like that, but King Namor's throne room, not really doing it for me 100%. So yeah, sorry, I can't show you the other one there. It has yet to be released on the LEGO website, and that's when I can actually reveal this stuff and when it's released from an actual LEGO source. But yeah, I can show you this one because for some reason this one's available or being shown on the LEGO website, but the other one is not. It is what it is. Okay, so uh, we have another box here. Let's dive into this one. I don't think this is more Marvel stuff. I think this is... A different theme, nor do I think it's more office stuff. I think it's, once again, a different theme. I hope I can show you this one. It's funny, I like accepted most of these reviews, review offers from Land when I was like 
at the hospital. So I can't even remember what's in here, nor do I remember when their official release dates are. So I'm sort of like finding out right now when I'm unboxing it with you. And unfortunately that one there, I cannot show it to you. It looks awesome though. Very cool. <laughs> I guess you'll see that in the near future. Wow, that's sort of a lunch bag letdown for you, not for me, is it? <laughs> okay, so I have one more big box here, and I'm pretty sure all the sets in here we can have a look at. Yeah, I'm a little bit upset that I can't show you the other one either, you know? I'm upset about that. I wanted to show it to you. Oh yeah, this one, I can show you everything that's in this box, I think. I'm going to leave it down here in case i got to crop some of the video out. But this is a new Avatar set. Yes, this is the Tree of Souls. Yeah, the Tree of Souls. This packaging looks dope. Oh my gosh. I am so fired up for this movie. Like, legitimately, I would have bought these sets. These sets, like, I'm stoked for because... <laughs> I really enjoy the Avatar movie, and you know what? I actually already booked the day with my mom. I was like, Mom, you gotta come look after the twins so that Jose and I can go see the new Avatar movie. Let's check this one out. This set looks really good. I like it. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm biased toward Avatar. But look, you get uh, four nice minifigures. Uh, you also get the dire horse right there. I believe that's a dire horse, right? And then uh, the nice tree with all of these pink antenna elements and the nice like lavender style colors at the top there, uh, 75574. And then you also get the Turok Maktau, Maktau, Turok Maktau. I, I don't know. I don't speak, you know, I, I don't speak uh, the Navi language. I'm sorry. Turok Maktau. I believe that's what it is. Make fun of me all you want in the comment section. I got iron skin. Uh, iron skin. There you go. Um, <laughs> that's a new one, but yeah, this thing's actually pretty big. Look, he's 49 centimeters or 19 inches. That's the wingspan, 27 centimeters or 10 and a half inches, uh, from sort of feet to uh, nose there. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, look at this molded piece and stuff like that. I'm pretty excited about this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So pretty cool, that one there. Obviously, you can probably suspect that there's more Avatar sets in here. Yeah, we got this one right here, which is pretty cool. What I like about it is it comes with like a military uh, minifigure. Uh, this is Natiri and the Thanator versus the AMP suit. Yeah, this is pretty cool because it comes with an actual military minifigure. Colonel Myers Quarich. Yeah, that's a military minifigure. And this is a military mech. Look at that big dagger he's got there. Dude, this thing was meant for like mowing down the Navi. <laughs> And like he got this thing good with the knife, right? Like he killed him or the uh, the Thanator. This is a violent set, dude. This is a violent set. That's cool. We got a military mech right there, folks, in LIGO. I'm digging that. Oh, and look at the way that it can be posed, right? So you got this here, right? And you got the mech, but it can actually be posed on that. They don't really demonstrate that on the packaging, do they? I think this can be posed on that. They really don't demonstrate that on the packaging. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see, they do. See, it can be, like, attached to that element there, so it, the Thanator is sort of floating in the air. But, yeah, that's really cool. It's sort of a military-style set. The next one is another Avatar set, so we're getting the full collection. Uh, this is Jake and Natiri's first Banshee flight. Have, has anyone been on the Flight of Passage uh, ride at Disney World? Oh, my gosh, I love that ride. It is like you're literally flying a Banshee. It is amazing. This set looks cool. And what I really like about them is the way that they can be like posed. Like I was showing you uh, on this one here. This one can be posed like that as well. I don't know. I like the minifigures too. You know, like uh, Jake and Natiri. Very cool minifigs. I don't have any Avatar minifigs, so that's cool. You got the two minifigs, the two Banshees, and this here. And they can all sort of adapt onto there. So you're going to be able to build a pretty cool looking display. Uh, 37 centimeters, 14 and a half inch winds wingspan on that one there 27 and a half centimeters or 10 and a half inches from tail to nose very cool excited about uh the avatar sets for sure okay this last one i'm actually pretty excited about too because it actually comes with like the what is it the rda samson so like this military style like plane right or like 
helicopter plane hybrid like it's epic so you could get like a military based vehicle in this set which is really cool and obviously you get a bunch of other stuff as well once again this one here comes with uh, quite a few minifigures there also like the trailer where they can sort of bridge into their avatars and become the navi right so you got grace and jake Sully, then another dire horse there and this vehicle just like a military style vehicle i'm telling you that's cool yeah, like these things meant business in that uh, movie, right? Those things were sweet. There's all the minifigs on the top there. And uh, just like the uh, Thanator, this can actually be posed and sort of set up into a scene. I think that's what I really like about it too. They have that displayability aspect of it. It's not like this is going to be separate, you know, like you can actually have them floating behind the trailer or something like that. So it's going to be easy to set up a scene just right out of the package. You see how it connects there. And obviously the trailer can open up. So I'm sort of digging these avatar sets. So that's pretty cool. Hey, we got all this uh, new avatar stuff. I'm actually like legitimately excited for that. I'm going to make a little avatar shelf. Yeah, I love avatar, man. I love it. It's like that movie just like revolutionized CGI for me. That movie was awesome. I saw it on Christmas day. I remember that. So cool. And then we got The Office. I gotta watch The Office. I love that movie, or that show. I love it. Michael Scott and, you know, Dwight. <laughs> Just the greatest characters, and Stanley, and all the different characters. They're awesome. Okay, and then we got the Wakanda Forever. I'm not sure. I mean, these minifigures look cool, but I'm not sure how I feel about this set. I don't know. I, I for sure would have let this one stay at the Lego store. All of these I would have got. I was on the fence about the uh, the office one, though, to tell you the truth. And the other one that I couldn't show you, I would definitely get that one for sure. You'll see that in the near future. Okay, this isn't the end of the video. I got a bunch of other stuff that we got to unbox as well, so let's do that. We're going to unbox all of this stuff here that arrived from our baby registry. Wow. Like, we are just overwhelmed with the level of support. Tico, it is absolutely incredible, buddy. Wow, thank you, everybody. So let's unbox all of this stuff and find out what's inside because that's for this little guy right here who's always hungry and for this little girl down here who's always tired. Holy smokes, thank you everybody, this is insane, wow. Got so much cool stuff, like look at all the diapers we got. Yeah, that's from uh, UK Bricks. Also Sue, Tony and George, thank you so much for the diapers and also these learning toys right here, that's perfect. Look, there's one for each of them. Sweet, now they don't have to like fight over their learning toys. Very exciting. Also check this out. This is from Adele right here. She says, hi Brixie, congratulations again on the arrival of your twins. You guys are the best. So I thought I'd send you a little something for the new arrivals. Look at this though. We got some Star Wars learning books. ABC 3PO, that is so cool. Also OB123, very cool. And then check out these little outfits here. Droids will be droids. Wookiest in the Galaxy, Troublemaker, Too Cute I Am, and Lil Rebel. This is from Sam Cook. She says, congratulations on the birth of your gorgeous babies. I know you have a registry, but I thought you might like to pick something you need for the twins from Sam Cook. And she got us a gift card. Thank you. Did we just become best friends? Yep. That's from Dennis and Vicky Bruno. Thank you so much. That is awesome. UK Bricks also got us this here, which is a temperature scanner for the twins, just to make sure they're at the right temperature, which is so important for kids. And from Kyle and Brittany Stone, here are some things to keep them entertained. Got a little baby mirror there, and then these little things to play with as well. They make like the crunchy noise. And then we got Jason and Debbie here. They love our channel and helped us get them through the unknown times through the pandemic. They got the twins a really cool Duplo bathtub set and this little llama, or no, that's not a llama, that's a dinosaur, <laughs> but a little squishy toy for them. And INR got us this really nice blanket here, which is actually a milestone blanket, and we can take photos as they sort of grow up. Oh, looks like Jason and Debbie also got us this as well. Uh, this is a baby tear rassle. Must be like a learning toy, right, I presume? Oh my gosh, the second line is English. Baby animal rattle. There we go. And then another learning toy right here, which is like the number blocks. And also they have symbols and stuff like that on them. So just some basic learning for the twins. Michelle and the kids say that this picture is awesome for mixing formula with fewer air bubbles than shaking up the powder in the baby bottle. She says she used it with her two kids and it was just perfect. Blessings from Ohio. 
This is actually Jose's auntie. She got us a couple nice outfits here. A cranky bear book. There you go. There's me. That's me. And then uh, some blankets and a couple more outfits in here. Looks like there's a cute couple cute ones in there. And also some more swaddles, I believe this is. And you know what, Chad? Thank you so much for the bottles. You can never have too many bottles when you're feeding two babies. Believe me when I say that. Hey, it's from Trudy Brick and her husband. Thank you so much. Look at this. Got us a dino book. That's so cute. Oh, it's got a mirror. Very cute. I can't wait till they're like, well, I don't want to wish away time, but when they're actually like big enough to understand this and interact with things, it's going to be really cool. You guys got us so much stuff. Thank you. Also some nice burp cloths. We have some like this and they're perfect, but they use, you know, multiple a day. So thank you so much. Hey, this is all from the bakers. Thank you so much, Kellyanne, Trevor, Chloe. We appreciate it. Look at this. We got some more diapers. Trevor, you know me too well, buddy. I need as many diapers as I can get. <laughs> and we got uh, some formula there too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This thing's really cool. Now I can learn how to like, you know, count my one, two, threes and stuff like that. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. Look at that, it's like a baby Einstein. They can sort of play with that on the ground. So that's gonna be pretty neat. Then we got some baby wraps here. I'm gonna wrap up the babies in some more swaddles. 7 to 35 oh, pounds, so those are going to last quite a bit. So that's that's a good time because they're only like, they're not even 5 pounds yet, people. It's crazy. Actually, I think Benjamin just exceeded 5 pounds. We got a baby shusher here as well. It just goes, shh, shh. Do you know why that makes the baby quiet? Because apparently that's what it sounds like in the womb. Did you know that? I didn't know that. But I heard that. This is like a wet bag, I believe. Right, Jose? Was that you were trying to say something there? <laughs> Yeah, it's a wet bag, right? Yeah, so you can put like uh, wet stuff in there. <laughs> you know what that might be. And then we've got uh, just some burp cloths here, right, Jose? Sorry, I clearly can't read. It's a two-pack swaddle blanket. So it's a blanket swaddle. Beautiful. Thank you so much, everybody. This is like overwhelming. We got so much stuff for the twins. It is incredible. Thank you all for the uh, continued support. It's absolutely fantastic. This stuff is going to come in very handy when it comes to raising these two little kids. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for popping on by. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, and thank you so much once again, everybody who sent stuff to the registry. That was incredible, and I hope you guys are excited about some of these new fall 2022 sets. I know I am. The Avatar stuff looks pretty cool. The Office one's pretty neat as well, and the ones that I didn't show you are super cool. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.